Hey everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to film a coloring book haul for you all. Um, I've been waiting to do this for so long, so I'm excited to finally get it done. But before I, you know, get into the books, I just wanted to show you guys what I had picked up from tar Target Dollar Spot. Um, it's like this little desk and you can color on it, you know, read on it, whatever. Um, and it's got like these big compartments on either side. One, you can like even put a drink here or, you know, obviously your colored pencils, like anything. And I just really like this because it stands up like, you know, pretty well. Um, I believe, yeah, this was only $5 and you can put like your colored pencils, you know, a brush if you use one to like dust it off. I mean, your sharpener, anything and whatever you want you could put a snack on the side like i just really like this because i've been wanting to color while like sitting down or um like sitting on my couch and this has been great and it's pretty big there's enough room to like fit a book without you know cramming it i mean this is kind of a big book but you get the idea so love that target dollar spot um there was pink maybe like a sagey mint green and a gray color I had actually just went to Target today, so if you want this, I would pick it up now because I only saw, uh, like, a pink color in this. But, yeah, they were getting low, so pick these up now while you can. I mean, they sell these everywhere, but for 5 bucks, I figured that was pretty good. Because at Michael's, they were selling these for, like, 6 or 7 maybe, something similar. So, yeah, definitely check out Target. Okay, so while we're here, um, I wanted to show you guys this book. So I had actually seen this from Corey, um, Colorfully Optimistic. She had hauled this and instantly when she showed like the first couple of pages, I had to find out where I could get it and buy it. So I got this one off of Amazon. I want to say it was like around $20, but I could be wrong. Pretty sure that's what it was though, like around $20. Um, I haven't even taken the little like wrap off of it because I wanted to do that you know, on camera because it's just funner that way. But hold on, I'm going to have to pause this and take it off. And then we'll look at this together because I haven't even looked through it yet all the way. All right. So I took the little plastic wrap off. So vintage my room. I'm going to have to put who this book is by in the description because I really don't know. And um, this may say it right here, but I don't want to, you know, say it wrong. So I'm not going to do a full flip through of this. Um, I haven't even flipped through this whole thing myself because I was waiting until I received it in the mail and hauled it before I actually flipped through it. But I'll show you guys a couple pages. So it's, I mean, it's just such a unique, the line art is very dark. Look how cute this is. It's very dark. Um, I'm not using my phone stand today because it's just such a pain. This is honestly easier and, um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how this works, but just so you guys can get a quick look at this book, Bathroom. And I really like the dark line art. And the paper, let's see. Yeah, it's pretty thick. It seems like good quality. This book is pretty large. Like, it fits perfectly in this tray. It's pretty large. And, um, like, the, un it, the images are very unique. They're kind of, like, cottagey. There's some nature. They're just really pretty, and I actually really want to color in this soon. Look at this. So, yeah, I love this book. Absolutely love it. It was definitely worth the money. It's like a cross between eerie and, um, uh, I don't know about Kanoko Agusa, but kind of similar. Like the just like whimsical, like pastries nature animals like stuff like that that's what it reminds me of okay so i'm not going to flip through this whole thing but it's just a really nice unique and good quality book oh so this is actually the dust jacket underneath and then this is the coloring book without the dust jacket so yeah i got that one from amazon and i'm super happy and excited to color in that one another one i got from amazon let me move this is one that i don't know how to pronounce yet again this um i'm gonna have to just put it in the description who this is by and all that but um i got this one from book depository i believe this one was also around 
20, I want to say, maybe 15. Um, so this one's a lot smaller. As you can see, like vintage, my room was a lot bigger. This one is way smaller, which I wasn't expecting when I got it. For some reason, I was thinking this book was going to be a lot bigger than it actually is. But it's, again, super adorable. Um, oh, I didn't know. Wait, hold on. Okay, so the back, it has, are these like little postcard things, maybe? And just some lined paper. But even the images back there are very cute. Again, like very whimsical. Lots of animals and nature in these coloring books. Okay, I don't know what that says, but for a second I was thinking this whole book has lines in it. And I was like, wait, what? So yeah, it's kind of hard to show you fully because this book is pretty small and I'm only using one hand here. But just super cute images that I cannot wait to color. Very like springy and summery to me. And I just really love this artwork. Super adorable. Sorry that you can see my shirt, my baggy shirt. This is one of my favorite images, and it's this is like one of the ones that sold me on it. The girl taking a bath with her plant in the background and the cats. That's like, I don't take baths, but I'm a cat person for sure. Is that like a Pac-Man bed? Oh, that's cute. It's like a little boy hugging his dog. Oh, I love that. That'd be really cute to frame in your son's room if you had a boy or just like, you know, nephew, whoever, especially if he had a dog, that would just be adorable, especially that kind of dog that they, you know, oh, this is a nice one for Halloween and a nice one for fall. So yeah, it's a versatile book, which I really like. Um, it's got a couple different like seasons that you can play around with in here. So love this. Again, I will list in Etsy, I mean, in Etsy, in the description, uh, who this book is by because I don't know and I don't want to yeah I don't want to butcher that so I'll link it all right the next book that I got is Serene Little Village by who is this by The Wondrous Life Behind the Garden Walls so this was two dollars from wherever it came from but I paid like six for it so I think I got it on eBay because I don't know why I got it on eBay but um Who's this by? Oh, Julia Rivers is who this coloring book is by. So I had actually purchased two books from her thinking that I was getting this one because this is the original one that I wanted. So I'll show you the other one I got by her. But Serene Little Village was the original one that I wanted. Again, with like this really whimsical images and the animals, nature. It's like kind of a cottage vibe. Look at this one very detailed it's kind of intimidating to look at these images because it's just so much going on but I mean look how cute this is with the little pig cooking and she's got like her little baby watching that's just so cute anything with like pastries and a kitchen like an old-fashioned vintage like kitchen vibe is such a fun thing to color because you can just go with so many different colors but it's also very overwhelming um, so yeah, I don't know when I'm going to get to this, but a lot of these are so fun for like Easter and just spring, summer. I was like, definitely, I'm in a springy and summery mood. This happens every time a new year comes and like it gets sunny out and it's not super snowy anymore. I'm like, yes, give me all the spring and summery coloring books. But yeah, super cute images in here so I'm really glad to have this one I just love it the paper is um well it's got this black background what is it called um it's like the Amazon paper you know like the thin but I mean you can work like prismas and polys on there on here it just you don't want to put too many layers in because you might actually like rip through the page which I've done before on accident, you know, so definitely just got to be careful with this kind of paper, but you can make it work. So yeah, Serene Little Village by Julia Rivers was um, one of my purchases. And the other one by her was Serene Little Village, The Tiny Fairies of the Flower Meadow. This is the one I had accidentally purchased thinking it was 
the other one that I just showed you. But, I mean, it's still cute. It's not really... Oh, look at this one. I don't know. I think the images are cute, but I think the fairies kind of take away from how cute they are to me. I mean, I like fairies. Like this one, I would never color. I like fairies, but I think these would have been cuter without the fairies. Like with this, just the bunnies, you know, I would have colored that for Easter. Let's see what this one is. Yeah. Like I would have liked this image even more without... Well, that one's okay. I like this one, but... Let's see, are there fairies in this? Oh no, this one's really cute. It's like a little dog with some antennas and a little koi fish in the pond. That's cute. But yeah, I think it's still a cute book, definitely. It's just not my preference compared to her uh, one I just showed you. Look how cute the duck is in the pond. And the little cat sleeping with the fairy guy in a little tree house. That's cute. Very, like, whimsical images that she does. Very detailed. This girl, she's chilling in a, a room. With all her little things, pots. Sewing stuff. This guy's got an acorn to give a little, what is that? Squirrel thing. So yeah, that was this book, Serene Little Village, the fairy one. And then I also picked up um, Osmorellis by Crystal Vogels. Hopefully I'm saying that right. I'm not even going to try to pronounce this. But again, for some reason, all these books are just like very whimsical, nature. And I was really going back and forth with this one because um, I don't tend to like coloring books that have like a story theme like, you know, words with it. I don't tend to gravitate towards books with, like, a story in it, but I just really liked the images in this book, and I can't remember how much this one was again. Um, it was a little bit more pricey, I want to say. I think it was actually around 15 and I want to say I got it from Book Depository. So, yeah, it's just really cute, whimsical images, a lot of, like, uh... I guess you would call these little people like fairies without the wings. I don't think any of them have wings. This is cute. I have to be in the mood for this book, for sure. Like, I love the images, and I know I'll color in it one day, but it's not, like, my first choice. You know what I'm saying? It's just, I don't know. But I still love it. I would much prefer to color in one of the other books that I just showed you, though. Look how cute this is. I think one of the things about it is I don't, like, a lot of the images are similar. You look at them, and a lot of it's just, like, these people in the forest with some mushrooms and cute animals. This is really cute. They kind of remind me of Clara Markova images for some reason. But, yeah, a lot of them are, like, super similar, and, you know, I kind of like variety in my books, but still... A great purchase. If you're thinking about getting it, I would get it. The paper is... Hold on. Let's go back to that one real quick. The paper is actually pretty good quality. It's pretty thick. Um, here, if you listen, it's pretty thick. It's not like the best, but it's good. And I like how this is like really smooth and like that matte feeling. And then this is what the back looks like. So yeah, I got that one, I believe, on Book Depository. Last one, uh, actually this is not the last one, I have one more that I have to go get downstairs, but Matchstick Mouse by Morgan O'Brien. I've been seeing these books around and I finally decided to get this one, and I just saw that, I think there's a, was it a spring one that just came out? I believe so, I want to get that one too. But we have the summer one here, and it's just really cute, I love how all the images are like circular and um, just simple. When you feel like doing something, oh, I like this one. When you feel like so doing something that's just super quick and cute, you can pick up one of these books. There's like one for every season. So I'm sure during fall time, I will pick up the fall one. Oh, look at that one. That is so cute. So yeah, definitely just feeling simple coloring pages when, you know, you pick up a busy page and then you need like a palette cleanser simple page 
this is a great book for that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to run downstairs and get the last one that I got, the last coloring book, but real quick, if you haven't checked out my Etsy PDF haul, you should do that. I hauled the stack of Etsy PDFs in that video. Um, a little chaotic because my kids are screaming in the background and they kept interrupting me, but I figured, you know what? It's the only time I can film this video and why not show you guys some cute images and in, if this is real life this is like one of the one quiet moments that I have because my mom has my older son this weekend so I figured why not film a haul I still have my one-year-old downstairs but he's playing with dad right now so yeah if you haven't checked out my Etsy haul then go ahead and do that okay I'm gonna go get the last coloring book that I bought recently all right, now that I ran downstairs, my one-year-old is after me. <laughs> He's currently coming up the stairs. I don't know if you can hear him. But I did pick up Hannah Lynn's new book, Fierce and Fancy, Fantasy Faces, Line Art and Grayscale. Um, I have almost all of Hannah Lynn's books. I absolutely love her artwork. I'm sure many of you have seen flip-throughs of this book already, but um, I'll just show you a few. I'm actually working in one of these right now. <laughs> all right, I'm going to have to go quick. That's the one I'm working on, but um, yeah, I have my one-year-old banging on the door now, so I'm going to have to let you guys go, but um, if you like this video, please give it a like, and if you have not subscribed already, please do that, and I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Um, yeah, have a great day, everyone. Bye.